Hello and welcome to the video by Trump Excel. I am Sumit Bansal and in this video I will show you how to use VLOOKUP with multiple criteria. Here I have students name in column A, exam in column B, you can see there are three levels of exam, unit test, midterm and finals and the score in math in column C. Now if I use the VLOOKUP function to get the score for math it would always give 91 because it would always find mat as here in the first instance and return this. It would never go to the second one. In this case, I want the score for mat in unit test, midterm and finals. So to do that, I would have to use a unique lookup value so that it will identify this as different, this as different and this as different. So to create that unique qualifier or unique text, I would use the helper column. So I would insert that helper column between B and C. Here I would simply say insert and let me call this helper one. And here I would combine these two. So to do that, I would come here, I would say A2 ampersand and I would use a separator. I'm using the pipe symbol and then I would select B2. And now as soon as I hit enter, it combines these two, which is mat separator and the unit test which becomes a unique text in unit tests uh, in unit test this would be the case if it's midterm then it would be mat and then midterm and similarly in finals it would be mat and final so if i drag this for all the cells i have a unique text or unique qualifier for each instance and then i can use this as the lookup value so now when i have the helper column i would come here and i would use the vlookup function the lookup value here would be F3 which is mat and then I would again combine this with a separator and I am percent unit test. I would lock the column here and the row here so that I can copy paste this formula and now this is my lookup value my table array would be this entire thing these two columns make sure that helper column is the leftmost one because this is where it would look I would press F4 to lock this. I want the score so I would select 2 which is the second column and then exact match and now when I hit enter it returns 91 which is the score for math in unit test and I can simply copy paste this for all these cells. So this is how you can create a unique qualifier or a unique lookup value using the helper column. Now if you're wondering why I have used a separator here, why didn't I simply combine mat and unit test, even that would have given me a unique lookup value. Let me show you a case here. And this is a rare case, but it's possible that this may happen. Here I have these two values. And if I combine these without a separator, you would notice that I end up being having the same value here. So despite the fact that these two are different and these two are different, I end up being, I end up getting the same lookup value. And if this is the case, then it would always look for the first instance and I may get wrong results. So it's a good idea to use a separator here. If I use the separator, let's say the same pipe symbol. Oops. And I copy it for all the cells, you would notice that despite the characters being the same, since I have inserted the pipe symbol, these two are different. And then I can use these as unique lookup values while I fetch the data. So it's a rare case, but if there's a possibility that this may happen, then it's a good idea to use a separator. But if you're absolutely sure that it cannot happen, then you can uh, ditch the separator and simply combine these two texts. Now let's see how to do this without a helper column. So to do that we would use choose formula and we would create virtual data where we still need to create that unique lookup value but we'll, we'll not insert a helper column. So let me construct the formula here first. The lookup value uh, would be the same way we constructed with the helper column. Let me lock the column here in E3 and the row here in F2. So this becomes the lookup value. Now in table array, in the case of helper column, we had the table array, but here we will have to construct one so that it identifies this. And let me use the separator. I forgot it. Okay. So here I would use the choose formula and within choose in the index number, I would say one comma two. And then I would have to create these value one and value two so that choose formula can pick uh, first from value 1 then from value 2 then again from value 1 and then again from value 2 so I would construct this by selecting 
this here a2 to a19 I'll press f4 to lock this then I'll combine this with a separator and then I would combine this with the exam level I'll show you how this works so if you're getting confused uh, just hold on I'll show you exactly how this works and then value 2 here would be the score let me press f4 again to lock this now I'll close the choose function this becomes my table array and again I want it from the second column so I would have 2 here and then 0 now let me hit control shift enter because this is an array formula and as soon as I hit control shift enter it gives me 91 which is the right result let's copy paste this for all the cells so that we are absolutely sure we are getting the right results and yes we are mat for midterm is 53 mat for final is 87 so we're getting the right results now let's see how this works let me zoom a little bit here and let's have a look at this formula we know how this part uh, works the lookup value we've created a unique lookup value let's come to the choose part here if I select this entire thing entire choose part and I press F9 this is the result I would get and let's go through this the first element of it is mat separator and then unit test which is the unique lookup value and the second one is 91 notice that here there is a comma here a comma indicates that this part in the virtual data within this formula this is consider this as a cell and then 91 is in the cell adjacent to it and then semicolon means that it goes to the next row and then we have Bob unit test and then we have 52 so let me press control Z and let me come here with the helper column what it has done is it has essentially created this kind of data in the formula where there is mat unit test then comma 91 then semicolon Bob unit test comma 52 then semicolon so here it has created the same thing without using the helper column and now when I say that this is the unique lookup value it looks through this data looks through the first part which is this part when it finds a match it returns the lookup value from C2 to C19 which is this and hence when you use control shift enter it gives you the right result so this is another way you can use a VLOOKUP function to have the value fetched when you have multiple criteria this doesn't use helper column but as a caution if you have a huge data set and you're using this uh, in a number of places then I would suggest use helper column because that makes it faster otherwise if you're using it in a dashboard or you are using let's say for just 10 20 values then this would work fine and you'll not even notice the difference in speed so this is how you can use a helper column and a formula to get the value using VLOOKUP function when there are multiple criteria I hope you found this video useful thank you and have a nice day